Hey guys, it's that time again to do an updated house tour video. Here's what it looks like. Ignore some of the messes you may see on my floor. Alright, so we'll start off with the room that changed the most since my last house tour is my kitchen. As you can see, the R Generation kitchen is gone. Alrighty, so I have my whiteboard that's pretty much always here. And then I have my AG Star sticker that's always there as well. And here I have my makeshift shelf, which I don't know if I want to take it down or not and like try to store the plates and stuff in there. I could probably put the cupcake mix in the pantry. I just haven't done that yet. And I just have an, a craft apron that I made from a Michaels craft. And here's Mary Ellen's fridge. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but here is the fridge with some of my stuff in it. There is stuff in the freezer, and as well as this drawer is jam-packed with other random stuff. I know it says produce, but we're just going to ignore that. And then I have my little plate my fancy plate that I got from a thrift store. I just use it as a fancy platter. And then over there's the breakfast in bed tray thing. I have to move that sweet poster. I might get rid of it and like put something cute in here that says like kitchen or something. I don't know yet, but here's the kitchen. There's a lot of stuff in here. I kind of have to org organize it still. The recipe box did not stay closed. Oh, and I have my little Kirby's in here too. From my old kitchen. It's the pantry. And I put the AG flowers on the top. Which I might cut the excess stem off. Here's this side. I have the apron hanging from the whiteboard. And then the hot pad. And then the doggy thing is down there. And then here I have the chair with some stuff on it. Some Palmer clay food that I either made or someone else made. I'll just show you this real quick. I have the bunny hutch over here. And then in the center I have the baking table thing with the runner. And then a bunch of Palmer clay food that someone else made. So like mommy and me G made these and then I don't remember who made these but she made it was the same person. And I have Grace's little plate from her bistro and along with the little menu. I don't know where to put those things, which is why they're just kind of sitting here. Oh, and this is from Grace's bistro too. It's like the sparkly drink. I'll just kind of show you the inside of the kitchen. I have my brownie cookies in there, if you can see them. It's the other fridge. There's some stuff in it. But yeah, that's pretty much my kitchen. I want to do some more stuff with it, like make it more, I don't know, modern. Like, I don't want that sweet poster there anymore, but I do want something hanging on the wall. Just don't know what yet. Figure something out. And then, still my favorite room is the living room. So I have... I'll go through the posters first. So I have this 11 Doll Stars poster. And then I have my Aspen Heights posters that Alexis signed. And each of her dolls did too. And then a poster from Christina. And then my couch, coffee table, the rug, and the chair. Along with all the pillows. Oh, and... Um, the side table, I think it's called, I don't really know, is from an Etsy shop called Four Piece Creations. And then here's Sage's dog. And then here is the, sorry if I say and then a lot, the AG Entertainment set with a bunch of stuff on it. Right now they're going to do karaoke. I think this still turns on. Yeah. So that's pretty much it for this room. 
The flooring is an adhesive sticker. I forget what they're called. I need to get new adhesive flooring for my dollhouse because there's giant scratches in here. And that does not look cute. There's the kitchen. I don't know, I might get like a lighter color maybe. I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't really match the furniture I have in this dollhouse. I don't know. So if you have an, a flooring idea for both the kitchen and the living room, that would go better. Or if you guys like this color, I can try and get the same kind and put fresh stuff down. Um, but we'll see what happens there. Here's the bathroom. It, like, never changes. Clearly, I have not hung that up yet. I'm a failure. So here's my doll hair center from American Girl. And I just have a bunch of different stickers on it. There's some up here too. Let me move. Try and, oops. There's some up here too. The hairbrush. And then I have a whiskey sticker. And I have a Kaya and Julie sticker over there. Along with a towel. These are hair donuts for if you want to make like ballerina style buns. Garbage man's outside. He's making so much noise. I have my American Girl Doll Hospital thingies up here. So here's the AG bathtub and the rug that goes along with it. And I have this poster as well. Still haven't gotten rid of this thing to buy an actual sink. The shop I want to buy from is on vacation, so... And then there's stars on the ceiling that glow in the dark. If you want these, you can just Google, like, glow in the dark ceiling stars. I'm pretty sure Amazon might have them. I don't know. And then this is just leftover linoleum that my dad got. And here's the extra bedroom. Clearly, I was, again had other things to do other than get actual carpet to put in here instead of this old ugly towel yeah or let me know if you guys think i should put a rug like this like carpet like this in this room or if i should do hardwood floors i think hardwood floors would look super cute but i have no idea all right so here's the desk from walmart above it we have a AG squared 101 poster. These are from Staples, the little binders. I think the clipboard was from Michaels, but I didn't buy it. I won it in a giveaway like a long time ago. I will do a tutorial on that. I'm sorry, I just keep forgetting about it. I just have a bunch of school stuff in here. I know this is a rug, but I'm gonna use it as like a small blanket. I don't know, I just think it would be cuter as a blanket. Okay, and then I have Coconut Puppy right here. And then this is the American Girl Daybed. Or not Daybed, what was that thing called? Canopy Bed, something like that. I have this poster of Badlands Dolls Sage. And then I have Minnie, Ray Grace, and Josefina on this beautiful bed. I have a bunch of stuff under here, like... I have Caleb's shirts. I need to put like graphics on and then I have luggage under there as well. And then I have Barksy, Kanani's dog, and Bonbon, bon, Grace's dog, right there. So that's it for that room. And then here's the bigger room. I'm gonna make sure I'm not tripping over anything. So this room's pretty much always the same. There's posters up here and a mini Julie. The bags are pretty much always the same. I don't even know if I added any since the last video, but here they are. And then down here we have, actually let's go in this way. Another Badlands Dolls poster and mini Rebecca. And then I have that poster along with these three things from Etsy, which I so love. And then their Mac Mirror Book Air thingy you can get from like Amazon or eBay. But it's just a mirror. And then in here I just have glasses and earring box. A little 
brush for their dogs. I'm pretty sure, where is this from? Puppy Surprise, I have no idea. And down here just have a bunch of other stuff like the lamp I no longer have on the top. And their glass of water, the lotion, the flowers, the Kleenex box, Kanani's bag. The side tables for American Girl and the rug comes with it. This is the other bed. Do I just have extra blankets up here? I should probably like store them somewhere. But I think I've added this bag since the last video. I just have Lainey's accessory bag with her laptop inside of here. I have Julie's bag. And then Leah's camera. And two gold and two silver gymnastics medals. Up on top we have mini Felicity. She's so cute. And then on the bottom we have mini Kit. And I, for I already forget the name of this Etsy shop because I've shopped from so many that I don't remember the name. But I did an opening video of this bedding and I'll try to remember to link it below so you guys can go watch it and maybe buy from her shop. And then there's just a bunch of stuff under here like I have two pairs of glasses. But yeah, there's just a bunch of stuff under there if you can kind of see. Right here I have McKenna's dog and then this is chocolate chip. It's a truly me dog and then this little area right here i love these polaroids the only problem is that side does not like to stay up it's so annoying so this is rebecca's sideboard i might actually sell this on my etsy because i don't need it anymore um so yeah just look out for that i guess it's made by somebody i don't remember their shop polaroids from either that i've taken or other people have sent with something that they sold me is there anything over here i don't think that i think it's just the tape but yeah here's the sideboard there's a little tiara up here um i want to say it came with something i got off etsy but i'm not entirely sure i have leah sloth leah's turtle the princess window cling and then you guys are in the mirror then i have this shared hearts poster and then Brittany jellybean 585s is behind it and I just have like random stuff in here. I don't even really think I keep. Oh, there goes the sloth. Yeah, nothing goes in here. Although I might put Mr. Sloth in there if he doesn't cooperate with me. And I have a gymnastics warm up suit in there. Kind of random, but. Then we have Lulu, Lainey's bunny, and Nutmeg, Julie's bunny. And then this is Nutmeg's little basket. This is McKenna's umbrella which i hope to do a photo shoot of someday and then here's my doll closet pretty much always looks the same these are their holiday outfits and dresses are in those two boxes i managed to fit all of them in there and then their jewelry box which has you know their jewelry in it like up here's their necklaces and stuff you can see in the mirror here is their bracelet and then in this one is hair flowers and other types of things like that. Up here is Mary Ellen's crinoline. And then this is my, what is it, hats, headbands, and, oh wait, no. No, there's no hats in there. Never mind. Just headbands and belts now. It was in there. And I think this is like washi tape. It's from Closet for Chloe. Like when I used to order like from her every day. And then this is from just like a 3D fishy sticker. And then another Shea Tarts thing on the top of my dollhouse. Actually to the right, we have my shoes. So we have sandals, flats, like closed-toed shoes, and then boots. And then the bottom is my boy clothes. Up here is where I store off-season clothes. So right now, all of my summer stuff is in there. Behind it is other storage stuff so I have like the snowman the garden bench and Kanani's shave ice stand is there too I have the flip top desk with some other stuff in that box I have um, McKenna's gymnastics set I think this was Molly's blue bike but I'm not entirely sure but I got it off eBay and then this is where I keep all of my dresses and then I have my little Prius collection just there because I have nowhere else to put them so before I leave this is from Michaels I got it probably like a couple years ago 
before school started or something like that. I don't really know, but it turns on its motion sensor or you can have it so that it always stays on. But most of the time I have it off, otherwise the batteries would be totally dead. Yeah, I think that's it for this house tour video. I'll go back over here so you guys can see it. Actually, I can go back behind my bed so I can show you a straight on view. If you're wondering where all my dolls are, they're down here. Ignore my messy floor, oh my gosh. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you want me to do like individual room tours, I can do that like in more detail. Just let me know down below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!